Today we're talking with Connie Lynn Cosette about her new book, Between the Wild Branches. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. Oh, I'm delighted to be here. This is uh, number two in a series, um, and it's a sort of biblical romance. Um, tell us a bit about the first book so that we can know a little bit more about what's going on here in the second book. Absolutely. Well, these books are uh, what I call a duology, and they are um, the stories of a brother and a sister. So the first book is uh, the sister's point of view, and the second one is the brother's point of view. And they are two Philistine children who happen to come uh, into contact with the Ark of the Covenant. And um, there is a very small story in the Old Testament in, in 1 Samuel about the Philistines stealing the Ark of the Covenant and um, horrible plagues happen and they think we've got to get rid of this thing. So they send it back to Hebrew territory on the back of a wagon. And uh, I was just really fascinated by that and um, saw in my mind a couple of children following after it. And that's where that story came from. So the, in, here in this second one, which is sort of a continuation of that, um, I don't want you to give away too much of the, the ending, so to speak, sure. but this is still a continuation of the journey, so to speak? It really is, yes. The, the two children are, are um, grown up and they have been uh, adopted by a Hebrew family, the one that is the caretaker of the Ark of the Covenant on top of the mountain. And the younger brother is a bit of a rebel. Um, he's having a hard time like letting go of his past life. And so he makes some decisions at the end of the first book to 12 Among Cedars that takes him on a journey um, away from where he has been for the last few years. Now, when you're dealing with a, a piece of scripture that is not terribly long, um, you have to fill up the space, so to speak. Uh, how much time does it take to research to kind of get that as right as you can? Well, you know, um, because I've been doing this for so long, I have kind of a base of knowledge now. So it doesn't take me quite as long with the research as it used to. Uh, mostly I'm doing it as I go if I get curious about something. Um, although this one was a little bit different because it happened um, to be at the same time that there were some major archaeological discoveries coming out of uh, the, the Philistines in Israel. And so there was actually some DNA evidence that they took from some graveyards. And they actually found out um, exactly where the Philistines came from, which was the island of Crete, which happens to be what the Bible says. So that was pretty cool that they um, used DNA evidence to prove that. And so it happened to come out at the exact same time I was writing this. So I really got wound up into that research. But um, I would say it doesn't take me any longer than and six months to research and write the book. Well, that's still a fair amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> I take about six months to put together my grocery list. So <laughs> I'm doing very, very well. Well, the first one took five years to write, so oh, I've yeah. gotten a little quicker. <laughs> um, let me ask, why biblical fiction for you? Because there are lots of different ways to write fiction. We have Amish fiction, romance, suspense. Why biblical fiction? You know, I didn't set out to write biblical fiction. I didn't think this was the, the genre that I wanted, but I was doing my own research for myself about the Bible and trying to understand the ties between the Old Testament and the New Testament and the pictures of Jesus and grace in the Old Testament. And so I was studying Exodus and I got fascinated about the people that would, it said that the um, mighty multitude came up with the Hebrews out of Exodus. And I started to think about who those people might be. And so out of that Bible study, a personal study, a story came to mind, and that's where it kind of set me off on a journey. Wonder, wonderful. Thank you, Connie Lynn. I really appreciate your time. Um, so Between the Wild Branches is the new book. We're looking forward to it and wish you all the success with it. Thank you so much.